that's what's more fun for me. I spent most of my life as a With looks and grace that hark back to the golden years of Hollywood, Gwyneth Paltrow is so much more than just an Oscar award winner. She's an adoring mum, the wife of a rock star, a chart-topping singer herself, a generous philanthropist and a consummate professional. She is an original, an absolute original. There's no one quite like her. You're happy to be in her company when she's on the screen. And that's the quality that stars have. She's one of the cleverest, most intelligent young actresses you can ever, ever imagine. She makes such clever, intelligent decisions. Everything she does is carefully thought out. And she is amenable. Her accent is unbelievable. The fact that she's actually doing an English accent, again, having done it so brilliantly in Anna, I think is very brave. And she does it so well that I give her acting notes and I, you forget that she's having to think about doing this accent at the same time. Uh, and she's also playing two parts. She's got two lives to lead, etc., etc., etc. She really is quite a phenomenal young lady. And it was when she was a young lady that Gwyneth decided she wanted to pursue a career as an actor. As a child, acting was all around her. Her father, Bruce Paltrow, was a respected film director, and her mother, Blythe Danner, is a Tony Award-winning actress. And her godfather is Steven Spielberg. By the time Gwyneth was 11, she had talked her parents into becoming her acting teachers, learning a lot by simply observing them at work, a fact she didn't forget in 1999 when she won the Screen Actors Guild Award for outstanding performance by a female in a leading role for Shakespeare in Love. I, I grew up in the theatre watching my mother work and um, on television sets watching my father work and I knew that it was always something that I wanted to do. Um, and it's always something that I've worked really diligently at um, but to be recognized you know in this fashion is pretty um, profound her family didn't push her into acting but they encouraged her pursuit of it once she decided it was what she wanted to do I had done a, a production of picnic um, in Williamstown Massachusetts and it was one of those moments where I was trying to decide with my parents whether I should go back to college and pursue a life of higher education <laughs> or um, quit college and begin acting. And I remember my father seeing the dress rehearsal and saying, um, I don't think you should go back to college. You know, I think you should try this, and, which was an, an incredibly validating, obviously. Um, but yet one of those moments where somebody else determines the path that you're going to that you're gonna take, you know, and it's a good thing that that I listened, I think. <laughs> and away she went. She made her film debut in Shout with John Travolta and appeared in Steven Spielberg's Hook, but it was playing Brad Pitt's wife in Seven that put her squarely under the spotlight. Brad and Gwyneth started an off-screen relationship and the press couldn't get enough of it. The relationship came and went. In a move that shocked the women of the world, Gwyneth eventually broke off their engagement. However, the fame remained. Being Brad Pitt's other half sparked an interest in Gwyneth Paltrow's personal life that has lasted ever since. There's nothing you can do, you know. Unfortunately or fortunately, I'm a person that people um, have interest in and they're really interested in my personal life they're really interested in my haircut or what dress I have on and all these things that to me seem really shallow which is probably why she is very rarely seen with or talks about her husband and Coldplay frontman Chris Martin whether it's relationships or films the media are always there waiting to see what her next move will be I don't want to limit myself to anything, you know, I don't want to say, well, now I'm definitely not going to do this, you know, I, I just want to stay as open as I can and um, to allow myself to do very different things and to not, not be so hard because it's hard on myself, I mean, what, what starts to happen is if you, you, you know, once you start to do film work and if something's successful, um, everybody feels Everybody makes you feel like uh, 
you're under quite a bit of pressure, you know, to make the right next movie and the right decision. And I refuse to let anybody dictate that to me. Do you know, if I if I fail, I fail. You know, if I want to try something and I fail, then I'm going to. It doesn't mean it's going to be the end of my career. Professionally, Gwyneth has made a few great moves. She starred in Emma, which went on to be a big success. Then she was offered the role that would change her life forever. Viola in Shakespeare in Love. It became her most successful on-screen performance, winning her many awards, including a Golden Globe. Back then, all this award stuff was pretty new to Gwyneth. So how did she prepare herself? Well, I, I woke up and I did yoga for an hour and a half, so that was good, very centering thing to do. Um, and um, I just hung out at home with my family. And I was really nervous. I was really psychotically nervous all day. <laughs> So and when asked if she thought this award would lead to an Oscar nomination, she kept her cards close to her chest. No, no, I'm sure not. But I won't even, I can't even think about that. Well, it did. And possibly more famous than her performance in the film was her performance at the Oscars. When she took to the stage to accept her award for Best Actress, Gwyneth gave us one of the most dramatic and blubbering speeches in the Academy's history. It's so funny, you know, it's like you win the Oscar and you have this intensely personal, personal moment in front of a billion people or however many people watch it. You know, and it's so funny, um, and I just think it's something that nobody can really understand. Um, what, what it's like, you know, and what the aftermath is like of feeling like so exposed in front of the whole world because you've had this really personal moment there, you know, so it was very strange. It was very, it took me a long time to sort of feel my feet on the ground again. After the Oscar, her phone was running hot, but it wasn't just her calls she was answering. Uh, I don't know why people try to create, you know, well, I do because there's a story in it, I suppose, but we're very, would you like to get that? <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Hello. Is is who? Is Jamie Campbell here? Are, are you available? Who's this, please? Nick? Are you available for Nick? <laughs> Hold on just a minute. <laughs> Another call she took was to be part of the huge cast in the talented Mr. Ripley. Gwyneth held her own performing alongside Matt Damon, Jude Law and Philip Seymour Hoffman. She had proven her salt in dramatic roles, but the world hadn't seen a funny Gwyneth yet. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I've, I haven't done a full-on comedy yet, you know? I would like to, but comedy's hard. Drama is much easier than comedy. Comedy's really hard and I think I could do something funny, but I'm, I'm you know, my, some of my friends, you know, get upset because I, they think I'm funny and I don't, uh, you know, I, I haven't done anything funny and they don't understand why people in the world don't think I'm funny or don't know I'm funny, but. Well, she showed the world she could be funny in both Shallow Howl and The Royal Tenenbaums. Then she showed us she could sing in a film directed by her dad, Duets. She teamed up with Huey Lewis for the song Cruisin' and the hit went to number one here in Australia. In 2002, her father sadly passed away with cancer and Gwyneth admits it left her suffering from depression. Yet, a few months later, she met Coldplay frontman Chris Martin backstage at one of his gigs. As a tribute to her dad, he wrote, Fix You, and the following year they married in secret. The couple chose to keep their private life exactly that, private never being seen on red carpets together like other power couples in Hollywood. They have two kids, a little girl they named Apple, something it seemed everyone had an opinion on at the time, and a son, Moses. After becoming a mum, Gwyneth took on a series of smaller roles so she could focus on her family. Then she starred in the action blockbuster Iron Man as Robert Downey Jr's assistant, Pepper Potts, something the Iron Man was definitely appreciative of. So what was her reason for taking the role in this megawatt blockbuster? I had always wanted to work with Robert. It had been kind of one of my lifelong ambitions. And when I heard all the players involved, I thought, I'm in. Gwyneth Paltrow plays Pepper Potts, my assistant. Could you imagine? I mean, how silly is that and fantastic? 
Who's your assistant, Gwyneth? I never thought that I would be in a kind of action movie. I mean, it was kind of like an independent director and cast, but, you know, doing this this great big film, so it was the best of both worlds. Gwyneth does her best to use her fame for good, doing lots of charity work. She's a Save the Children ambassador, she fights poverty with the Robin Hood Foundation, supports breast cancer research, and is passionate about making a difference in her hometown of New York. I am a New Yorker, I grew up here, and um, I'm really proud to call it my home. And um, we're all in this room, we're so ridiculously fortunate, and we, we don't know about the real world, you know? And I forget about the real world, and that's what, going up to the food bank headquarters, going to the soup kitchen and the food pantry, reminded me, you know, that we're all kind of in la-la land here. And um, when I was in high school and growing up here, I, I used to work at a soup kitchen. And it reminded me of, when I went back, it reminded me of my times working at the soup kitchen on 3rd Avenue and how, you know, nothing's changed. You know, this is kind of 15 years later and we still have people who are hungry in New York City and it's just not good enough. She's also a face of Estee Lauder and donates a large portion of her proceeds to cancer research, a cause that she's very passionate about since her father passed away from cancer. Well, I think if you lose your dad, you know, uh, he was kind of the love of my life until I had my own family. And um, his life impacted me so much. I mean, he gave me confidence. He gave me uh, intellect. He gave me a love of food and travel. hardest thing I've ever gone through and um, you know this this foundation is so incredible they really make such an impact and so it's wonderful to be here to be a part of it. Family comes first for Gwyneth when she won a Golden Globe for her performance in Shakespeare in Love her granddad got the biggest thanks. I was just thanking my grandpa Buster Paltrow has had a, a tough year he's been sick and the only reason I wanted to when it all was for him, so I just want, wanted it to lift his spirits, and you know, I got a little emotional. <laughs> but I know I'm gonna call him when I get back to my seat. <laughs> Gwyneth is a big advocate for living a healthy lifestyle, despite the fact she stated that she misses smoking and vows to take it back up when she turns 70. She is a vegan, does yoga, and has created a healthy living website, goop.com, which gives info and tips on all the aspects of life, from relationships to cooking and finances. So why did she start Goop? I think the perception is it's hard to connect, but actually I'm just, you know, a girl and um, a wife and a mother and a working person and busy. And, you know, I, I feel like it's important for me to try to, you know, connect in, in that way. Despite her myriad of, well, professional hobbies, when Uber director Steven Soderbergh called with Contagion, she could hardly resist. I love the idea of working with Steven. I've always wanted to work with him. I love his movies. I'm a big fan of his, everything that he's done, you know, from his tiny independent movies to his big Hollywood movies. And um, I was very excited that he wanted me to be in it. So. And that was pretty much it. Like, I'd basically read the phone book if he asked me to, so I was thrilled. Gwyneth Paltrow is an Oscar award-winning actress. With beauty, brains, a rock star husband, and two beautiful children that are the apple of her eye. What more could a girl want? Stay tuned to Star Picks for all the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. Find or follow us at Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and at mnc.tv.